Hey guys, Adventurous Win here. I'm at the Rockwood Park where there's some nice nature centers. They got a nice dog park called Rough House. They also have archery ranges, a visitor center, tennis courts, basketball courts, all of that. Very nice trails. But what I'm interested in is the hidden gems here, which is the historical markers that are deeper in the park that not a lot of people know about. And if I see any cool stuff along the way, I'll show it to you guys. And I'll also hopefully find the hidden hidden markers. Stay tuned. When you got rain and lots of water, you have tons and tons of ferns. And there's just a creek over there. But this is the gorgeous area. The more well-known trails are the ones that are paved. And these ones are the older trails that aren't paved. And that's why some of these historic markers aren't well-known because the paved trails are the ones that people n normally use because they just do a little quick jog on them. So here the trail is opening up a bit and it gives a good shot of the creeks and lakes and rivers that all connect here alongside the park. Very very nice. It looks like the uh, lily pads are all abundantly growing nicely as the summer is progressing beautiful view and of course the thing this over here is about this flag tile is what they did over here a few years ago it's the fallen heroes memorial for the veterans from the veterans and athletes united it's to honor veterans There's another one up here. Very, very nice. If you want to read all this, you can. Just pause it. Very, very nice. And of course, the flag itself is constructed with 6,940 dog tags with the names of the fallen, the fallen service members. And the war on terror constructed over there very nice memorial and it's a beautiful spot for it too here's one of the hidden markers I was telling you about this one's on the trail but the other one is actually further in and this area was inhabited by the Powhatan people Powhatan were located in eastern Virginia around the tide water region the main Powhatan tribe was located in what is now Henrico County. The Powhatan Confederacy was spread all, spread out all around Virginia and some parts of Maryland and considered of 31 tribes. These tribes were either allied with or conquered by the Powhatan. And this is actually a, um interesting fact that some people um, probably already know, but the Powhatan tribe is actually the same tribe that Pocahontas uh, belonged to and actually was this first tribe that was encountered by the settlers at Jamestown. Here we have another plaque that's explaining how Native Americans such as the Palatans made their arrows from birch using turkey feathers or other feathers, trim them, attach them with sinew to the shaft of, the, of uh, the wood they were wanting to use. Very interesting. So before I go and see the visitor center, let's see if we can find some animals in their natural habitat in the wild. So this is a little helpful helpful herb. It's called plantain, and it can help with um, gastrointestinal issues, inflammation, stomach aches, that kind of thing. Do not eat a plant or touch a plant unless you know exactly what it is. However, I exactly know what that is. Just as I know, this is clover here. This is why you don't want to just eat or grab any old plant that you see. That there is your notorious poison ivy plant. Rashes, itching, aching, welts, bumps. Horrible, horrible plant. And you can get those just by touching it. Normally when you're in the woods, you don't want to just rub your bum with any old plant if you really need to go and eat TP. However, this plant here is actually one you do. 
It's very fluffy, very soft. It's actually been used by Aboriginal peoples for thousands of years for many uses besides that. But it is the type of land you want if you really need to do your business and don't have any other things and don't want to just rub yourself with poison ivy. Another little forest plant that grows mostly in fields. It's a nice little summer snack sometimes when the birds are not trying to eat them all the time. Wild blackberry. Very beautiful wooded area. And just from the trail to the left here, I noticed a nice little colorful plant that covers a lot of the, the forest floor. It's called tr Christmas fern. A little pr pretty little thing. And they can dominate, as you can see, they're all over this place. Very nice little plant. And right next to them is like wild grapevine or something like that. That's a nice little plant. So here's something really cool. It, it's been raining for a day, and already the fungi have popped out and are just taking over everything. <laughs> that is amazing, though. So, first thing that we found appears to be two garden variety millipedes mating. And hopefully I find some other species, like the giant one that I hope to find to show you guys. Found a very large carpenter or army ant colony under this log. That's a lot of pupae. And under this one we found a red ant colony. Pupae of various stages. They're very busy today. I suspect their queen is probably further down. Look at them go. And of course here we have a black ant colony. That about does it for all the ants. I had a bit of a spook because as I came around this corner here, I disturbed a bunch of these European hornets that are sucking on some of the sap on this tree. And boy, do they hurt me. That's for dang sure. Finding an awful lot of these big slugs. Way over there, we got some tur turtles. They're pretty cool. Very colorful millipede next to his tiny cousin. Very pretty little guy. That's interesting. It's a life cycle. Both the adult and the larval stage of the wood beetle. A double whammy here. A frog. And a worm snake. Wonder what's out of this one. A little worm snake. Cute little guys. These guys are your common centipedes. They are venomous and they look similar to millipedes, but they are dangerous. But as you can see, the creepy crawlies do not want to have anything to do with us. Even so, best leave those guys alone. Underneath this log I found, you can barely see them, is a species of skink. I gently try and reveal him here. I don't know if he's gonna let us see him or not. Oh, there's a blue tail skink hiding under there. Ooh, ain't he pretty. So, under this log, it looks like a little forest bullfrog of sorts. Cute little guy. And I didn't expect to find him under a log. Little treat. This is a little salamander found under a piece of bark. Very beautiful golden tail. And here we have a toad. Hello, Mr. Toad. You definitely look like a piece of bark. So here we're going to go inside the, the Rockwood Nature Center and see what we can find. There's lots of cool stuff here. This nice pond. Very nice. Thank you.
American millipede eluded me today out here in the wild, but we did see one in the visitor center. But it doesn't mean that I didn't have a great time out here. Also found lots of species of all kinds and sorts under logs and things. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, share, subscribe if you've enjoyed. This is an adventurous win here, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.